Hi coaches, Ron Silico here. What I want to talk about in this video is our flare option out of the five-man open pose. I personally love this option. It's probably my favorite continuity set within the open post offense. And I've never seen teams or coaches talk about doing it in a continuous basis like this. So I, I think it does make it unique. Uh, but basically what our premise is is that every time a player passes the ball, they're going to receive a flare screen. And what I think is really unique about it is it's backwards of a lot of the offenses that defenses are geared to stop. Defenses are geared to jumping to the ball, taking away basket cuts. This kind of plays opposite of what the defense is, ex is expecting and is trying to defend. So well, let me explain it. Uh, a couple basic rules that are that we try and follow is whoever sets the flare screen cuts to the basket and makes the basket cut right after they set that. Or if the if their defenders jumped out to help, they basket cut as well. Dribbling towards a flare screen. So whenever a pass is made and a flare screen is going away from the ball, we need the ball to be taken back towards that screen. Sometimes that opens up the basket cut from the screener, or sometimes we can hit that cutter. And then in terms of the screens, we want our screeners to always have their butt to the corner that they're facing on the flare screen. So if the screen's coming from this side of the floor, the butt should be facing that corner. This side of the floor, it's facing that corner. So let's walk through this a little bit just to show what we mean. Uh, I've kept our X spots here. They're not defensive players. Those are, remember, we talked about filling spots uh, from the cutting series, going to the foul line, and then going to the basket. So we'll start with the ball at the point. Say the ball goes to the right. Well, instead of this player making a basket cut, they're getting a flare screen. So our wing person makes a a shallow V cut, gets her butt to the base, to the corner, and then comes over and sets his screen. This player's coming hard right off of it. Uh, we talked about our rule. Let's switch this here. Our person has the ball here on the wing. It's a very tough pass sometimes to throw a skip, although against a zone, this is a very good offense as well, we found. It's dribbling towards the flare screen. So then we can throw right over the top, or right after this wing player has set the screen, they basket cut. Okay? And then we just fill the spots on the perimeter. Uh, this does change a little bit from the cutting series in terms of spots to fill at times. Uh, you can see right now that the wing spot, the wing spots filled, the corner spots filled. Uh, so this person, after they basket cut, maybe just fills the same side corner, the opposite side corner, excuse me, and then this person would come up and rotate. Uh, so that's a flare screen out of that scenario. Let's change it up a little bit. And your players will initially, because this is backwards of what players have been doing maybe throughout their careers, or if you're getting young players, Going away from the action just doesn't seem to make sense. Players want to cut to the ball and, and be moving towards the ball. So it almost seems like you're moving backwards. And your players will be confused at the beginning. But we found that this is a very, very nice option because the defense gets confused as well. All right, so let's say the pass, the ball's on the wing right now. We filled our spots. Pass goes to the top. Same thing, flare screen. Our wing player cuts right off. Our point who now has the ball. Dribbles towards the action. Get that flare screen. Then we got a basket cut. Then we have a flare screen there. Replacing, replacing, and then replacing. Okay. Uh, you could also operate this on the other side of the floor, obviously. Uh, we have found it is a very effective option against man-to-man -man or zone defenses. Uh, it's a matter of just those screeners need to find players to screen and then dive to the basket. So that is our flare option out of the open post motion offense.